Now let's talk about how to use phantom lines in triangles. Look at the figure below. If the area of ABC is 24 centimeters squared and AD equals DB and CE equals 2BE, then what is the area of triangle BDE? All right, the first thing that we need to know here is that the total area of ABC is equal to 24 centimeters squared. They gave us that. The next thing that they gave us is the fact that AD and DB are the same length. If they're the same length, that means that they have the same base. Since DC is the height for each of them, we know that they also have the same height. This means that the two triangles that are made up of 1 plus 2, triangle 1 and triangle 2, is equal to triangle 3. Now we need to know how triangle 1 and 2 are related. Triangle 1 has a length of BE as its base, whereas triangle 2 has a length of CE, which we are given right here is twice as big as BE. If CE has the same height as BE and, the, and twice the base, that means that CE is twice as big a triangle as BE. If we were to break CED up into th two parts, we would have three even sections for DBC. This means that triangle 1 is equal to one-third of triangle DBC. If we know that the entire triangle is 24 centimeters, and we know that we've already used up half in triangle 3, we can take our 24 centimeters and divide by 2. That's going to give us 12 centimeters squared. Now, if we know that triangle DBC is 12 centimeters squared, and we know that triangle 1 is one third of that, we can take our 12 centimeters squared, divide by 3, and we'll find that triangle 1 is 4 centimeters squared. So our triangle DBE is 4 centimeters squared.